On behalf of Akuno San Kofa Bay, you know what I'm saying? Jay, where you at? We're trying to help our people elevate. Hope. H O P E. We giving them hope. We doing what we gotta do, you know. Should Every day, one step right. at a time, man. We gonna make it happen. Helping our people elevate. Yeah. Sometimes I practice focused thought and meditate. I'm trying to come with other ways to help our people elevate and seek knowledge, make me levitate. The lifted mental state is what results from how we orchestrate. This for the family's sake. Let's self reflect and self evaluate. And every day, make sure the steps you take, you calculate. Receive a master's fate. I know I can't exist without the hate, but that's okay. I balance that with higher self today. Success is on its way, and after that, my flesh can pass away. All right, we back with another one. It's the new one of Community Convo 918, The Real Black Wall Street. Y'all have sleep. Oh, no. You heard? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you, but I don't know. It's, too many, it's kind of loud. Somebody's background. Is this better? I had you guys on speaker. Maybe that was it. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Sorry about that. No, you're good. All right, brother. Uh, brother Andre, if you want to lead it off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said, how right, you want to go? Ahudu Bilal, Minnesota Rajin. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yomadeen, Ekana, Muruwa Ekana Sting, Indonis, Serator Mustajim, Serator, Ledina Anata Lehim, Gairo, Magduba Lehim, Wala, Dolin, Amen. Welcome, brothers and sisters. We back at it at another community convo, 918 The Real Black Wall Street. So leave your feelings on the side, yeah. right? so you know this shit gonna get real. Indeed, true indeed. How the fam feeling? Good. Everybody good. good. Everybody good. good. Yourself? That's yeah. I'm good, dear brothers and sisters. I'm good. You know, living this uh, American uh, non-reality. You know, but mm -hmm. we'll push through. But we'll push through. I'm glad this week over with. You know what I'm saying. I got my daughter's birthday tomorrow, so I'm taking them to uh, Synergy tomorrow and then take them to the pool, letting them swim and have like a little pizza party or whatever, wasn't that? But I'm just glad it's working you over with. It's hot. Yeah, most definitely. It is hot. <laughs> it feels like, yeah, it feel like exactly. this earth getting closer to that sun. Yeah, I feel it. Oh, we got we got we got we got we got a guest with us tonight. We got a sister with us tonight. I mean, uh, sister, you want to? You can introduce introduce yourself and tell the people you know I mean, a little bit about yourself. Okay, sure. Um, so <clears throat> I go by the name of Omega, which is my middle name. Um, I'm 41 years old. I'm here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, my the industry field has always been the utility company which we ain't gonna get on that but um i'm a mother of five i have two beautiful granddaughters and i would love to see um us as black people just get out in the community and really do something instead of profiting off of our people and not really doing anything so that's why i'm here well, indeed i can dig that welcome thank you yeah, this is Community Convo, so we got a lot to talk about tonight. Last episode, we talked about mental illness in the community. The episode before that, we honored the 103 anniversary of the Black Lives Matter massacre. Uh, tonight, we have a topic. We got a lot we want to talk about tonight. Uh, I had my class yesterday, uh, my presentation. You know, I'm working on my book, The Father of the Modern Race Paradigm. From 1684 to present, how race and color became people. So that's my book I'm working on. But uh, I had an excellent class last night. We had about 25 people attend, and I got I got a, a big a big positive feedback from my presentation last night. So you know, uh, anybody listening, they check this when they hear this video. Check out the channel. Check out the page. Check out the uh, the series about the modern race paradigm. Uh. 
Brother Andre, I know you got some stuff on your mind. You know, uh, sister, I know you want to talk about a subject. Oh no, I know you always like to sit back and chill. Uh, I know you got a little bit to talk about, so let's let's get into it. Say the truth, brother. I really don't even know where to start at, though. You know, it's been so much going on. I really don't even know where to start at, man. You know, because we battling this, we battling that. Uh. Well, I definitely don't know where to start. Where you want to start? Going to take off, sister. Okay, thank you. Um, So first off, I don't know if you guys have been looking at like, um, what is it called? The Tulsa mugshots, for example. If you notice, there are more and more young black people getting locked up every day. Like, what is going on? There's a lot of domestic violence. Um, There's a lot of uh, violation of protection orders. You know. Um, a lot of DUIs. Like, what is going on? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uno, like you about to say something. These youngsters, they they led by the internet. They want to be, they want to be King Von. They want to be uh, what, Lil Pab and all these youngsters. They want to be Brick Baby. They looking at all these internet, I guess celebrities. You can call them. And see, they like Crib Mac who drink 40s every day. So people that's famous on the internet, these youngsters, that's who they want to be like. That's why I be on my kids every day. I took them to the Juneteenth last night. We're going to be at the Juneteenth tonight. I'm going to be at the Juneteenth tomorrow because when I was growing up on Greenwood, that's how me and my homeboys was. Like we was in, we was in the community. We made sure it wasn't no recklessness going on. It wasn't no... Like they had fights, but it wasn't no shootings and none of that. Like we didn't allow that when I was growing up in the in the hood. But now it's just everybody reckless. Everybody want to be like they they want to be on a drill scene, and then <clears throat> domestics. They that's because a lot of these youngsters they scared to fight, so they take all their anger out on they they female, they baby mama, they shit, they sister, somebody in their family. So it's just like. It's, it, it, it's the it's the narrative of the internet that's raising the younger generation, and then uh, oh, the elders that's in the that they listening to is is crash dummy in the mouth because they they think they got some money. Oh, that's the big homie. He got rank. He got a voice. But then when he go back to the penitentiary, if he do go back, if he don't tell what they don't know what's going on behind closed doors. They just pulled, they got the wool pulled over these youngsters' eyes. And everybody want to be internet famous. So the the more stupid stuff you can do on the internet or get known on the internet, folk, you famous. It don't matter. The toss of mug shots, uh, toss is most wanted, fugitives. As <laughs> long as they see their picture, they cool. Like, then these females, they, these young females, they don't make it no better because they want to have, I want to be known to be dating a nigga that's a shooter. I want to be known as dating a, a gangster, a real hard, a hardcore guy, a, a fella that's that, that really a crash out. So, like, if you don't talk to your kids, if you don't talk to your uh, uh, nephews and nieces, if you don't tell them, keep it real with them and tell them, like, bro, the internet is fake. Like, it's stuff really going on out here. Like, my little cousin. Daughter got shot by a little youngster inside of a house where, you know, everything, everybody in there know what happened, but it didn't nothing happen about the situation. Wow. So it's like, it's like nowadays they initiating people on by shooting them one or two times. And if they don't tell, they solid. <laughs> like they got, they, they, they watching these with Snow on the Bluff, whatever, all these little shows on the internet, hood movies, Tubi, and all that, and that's what they want to do. And that's why the government allowed Tubi for hood action movies and, and black uh, ghetto poverty movies and all this shit to, to have these youngsters thinking, oh, yeah, that's the way we got to get out. That's the way we got to do it. I also want to say it's it's all it's, it also say it's by design. My apologies for cutting you off, but it's systematic. I mean, look at throughout the years, and they start shutting all the parks down. They shut all the recreation centers down. You know what I'm saying? The swimming pools got shut down. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not like the, the youngsters have anything to do in the community. Anything constructive to do. It's not like when we were growing up, we had the arcade back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah, that's like I brought that up last time. That's. I mean, yes, yeah, it does. It's it does. It's designed. It's the matrix. It's systematic. You know what I'm saying? It's all. I mean, like, 
They try to tear down Ben Hill. What Tupac? And a lot of it. Don't be a victim. Go ahead. No, and a lot of it because there's drugs in the community, and these but, and a lot and a lot of these people can't even cope with uh being sober. They can't face the reality of being sober. Bro, you know they have bro, to bro, they have to bro, get bro. on this on this cocaine on this fentanyl bro, on these pills. Bro. Bro, that is no excuse, bro, because them people, if you really want to look at it uh, systematically, statistically, they got more drug addicts in their community than we do. They just keep that shit undercover, bro. They got more overdoses, and they've been dying. More white celebrities died, of being, and they was rich of overdoses of cocaine in the 90s than anybody, bro. They try to, they put their strawberry and niggas out there, but they try to sweep their shit up under the rug. They got way more. They got way more drug overdoses in their community. Oh God! Yeah, but, like them niggas. Yeah, but they, yeah, but they our people, out. Our people they out LSD, on it though. They've been on. They've been on LSDs and all that shit. They just know how to keep their shit under the rug more because they run the system. That is. So true. if I run that a system, I'm not. If if I run the system, I'm not gonna let you know my flaws. What sense yeah, does that I make? I mean, that is true. Yeah, it don't it don't make no sense, but I'm just saying though. So these youngsters so, out here on like, all these different type of drugs, like gang banging. But but but, but they, that's you just know like, what I mean. They want to be that, ballers. These little sisters is fast. They shake when I was in the pen. Cash. When I was in the pen, they was trying to tear down Rennie Ann House right on Main and Marshall for the longest, bro. I seen it in the newspaper and all that shit, like three or four, t- like three times. Boom. But they couldn't. And you know what used to go on over there. And before that, before y'all was like, was around that motherfucker, that shit been going on over there. So, okay. They, so, it be, the whole straw used to crack in the 90s. It's meant, that's a, that was a mental health issue over there. Motherfuckers fucked up out there selling their ass for crack and all that shit. Like, bro, that shit was messed up. So, they ain't said nothing to talk to Oklahoma about none of this shit until, uh, uh, what's the DA name? Cause daughter stabbed him. Uh uh uh, uh what's the the head DA Coons name? Yeah. How can I forget? Coonswiler. Yeah. Coon, yeah, yeah, that fool yeah. right there. When Coonswiler daughter, she on that fit now. They don't want to tell everybody she a fit now addict. So they when 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 his daughter when, when he was on the news every day, they've been cool all this time until he was on the news every day talking about busting down on fit now, cracking down on fit now. We need to get this shit off the toss of the streets. Then his daughter stabbed him because her fit now Della said, nigga, your daddy stay on the news with this shit. Then it's fucked up for you. We ain't nobody in the town gonna say you this shit. Boom, she stabbed that nigga. Now everybody got, oh, mental health is a real thing. Woo, woo, when the shit happened. But y'all really trying to throw up that this girl is on fit now and she's an addict, nigga. That's what they you know, do, bro. But you know, like, I was about to say that, that every, time, every time that they do something, they say they blame mental health. <clears throat> when they have a mask, but niggas, but but, but when a black team. person do it, it's fucked up. Oh, look at what's uh, going uh, on. Uh, with gang. A gang member. But yeah, yeah when they bro. do it, they have mental see, so you see the you see the narrative. <laughs> So, so little look, you can't really just say it's just they put our shit out there more, and, and, and a lot of black people want to be seen, bro. So they do that shit like Brick Baby be out on the internet high as fuck, bro. You slipping? You ain't really out here got no enemies like that, and you all on the internet high than a motherfucker, and you showing your but, face. But, 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 my, but my thing is, if you sober, do, do you really want to be seen though? But I, this is what I'm saying. So okay. we we as people like. When I was young, nigga, niggas out here, nigga doing shit and want to be seen. We used to go to Club Genesis, nigga, parking lot pimping and all that shit, bro. Like, nigga, niggas want to be seen, bro. Like, niggas was out here. <laughs> so it ain't just the youngsters. It's the way the youngsters is going about shit. And then the niggas that they up under ain't telling them shit. And they letting them crash out and they crashing them out. And everybody think that's the cool way to go. To and have then a name. I have to also get on these people that call themselves leading the community. Let me go ahead and go yeah. there. Yeah. So we got this Black Lives Matter. We got all of these people, you know, everywhere I'm looking at, everybody like, oh, but well, we want to help the community. Let me tell it for anyone listening, Tulsa, Oklahoma needs more than for you to come out and feed the homeless. Because the homeless ain't the only issue that we're having. Let's discuss why the Black juvenile system is messed up. Let's discuss how many, um, on an average, a daily average of Black juveniles are being locked up and incarcerated as adults for crimes that they didn't even commit. Now, I have personally, um, I'm going through a situation right now with both of my sons. So one of my sons is on probation. They're trying to charge him as an adult. Um, They're trying to charge him with a felony. So we're fighting that. That's almost over. But then my 17-year-old son, okay, he was involved in a shooting. Um, The kid lost his eye. 
and lost some of his memory. The um, detective riding with the first 48, which I'll never have respect for him because he specifically told me and my son, I know you didn't commit the crime, but we have to charge someone with it. Do you really? We have to yeah, charge no. someone with it. And it has to be my black son that you charge. Although you know he didn't commit the crime. I hate to so, say um, this. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I probably got to cut you out, but just I'm, I'm going to use an example. They're, they They've done that with the King Von story. Now that he's deceased, Chicago PD are blaming a lot of the uh, deceased bodies from their past on him saying that he's the one that did it. They got so they do that. They're they're known police don't they but even even before even before we can we can go back to Emmett Till, we can go back to 1921 Massacre, we can go back from his, to historical events where they point the finger at us and say, Oh yeah, he did it. We can go some of reason time. is too, just because they don't want to do the real investigation, they just want to hurry up and get the case over with. They being lazy on their job. But back in the day, a lot of times the police was doing a lot of them killing murders and shit, and then they was blaming that shit on niggas. What's the little like, boy? They've been, they been crooked. Y'all ever heard the story of George Stinney? The 12 year old, the first, uh, the first boy that was executed by the police? One of the chair? The hell no. <laughs> and they got, they got a movie about him on YouTube, but his name is George Stinney. He was 12 years old. The Caucasian police officer killed these two little white girls, the two little European girls. And the officer blamed the little boy. And at the time, the little boy couldn't even read. They made him sign a document saying that he did it and charged him, for it, put him under the chair, and electrocuted him. That's fucking crazy. Oh my God. But I then mean, riddle me this. How is it that, um, because you can go outside when you're incarcerated in jail and, and in prison. That's why they got the prison yard. Well, how about here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, you don't go outside in this juvenile justice. So you don't think that's going to affect those kids mentally? Of course it is. But again, yeah, I mean, this is happening because of the status, though. That, that's what I be on with this Moorish information. A lot of us have to get out of this black, Negro, colored, African mentality. It's, it's, everything is a mental concept. We, we've been edu we've been miseducated. We've been taught wrong. And if you don't know who you are, anybody can tell you who you are. And we've been told who we are by our conquerors. And this is why they can just blame the little black child and say, oh, yeah, they did it. Yeah, they brainwashed our ancestors so bad. It's just like, shit. Everybody, everybody, everybody got a different role. They took the physical chains off of them because they knew it, it, it had surpassed their mental soul so much that they're going to teach it to their children. And their children are going to go through it to where they knew where we at today, their great-great-grandchildren would inherit the same fortune that they would, that they had put down two, three hundred years ago. All by the grind. I yield. Do y'all look at it from the economic standpoint? Yep, that too. That too. Do you realize that let's just say two two brothers get in a fight. One pull out the strap, gun down the other brother, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so now we done lost the brother. The, the brother that got lost all of a sudden, all these wheels go into motion. Here comes the police. They get paid for that. Here comes the coroner. He gets paid for that. The medical examiner, he gets paid for that. The district uh, district attorney gets paid for chasing down the, the shooter. Okay. You got the funeral, the church, the the judicial system, mm -hmm. the the conviction, the jurors, the the whatever sentence he get, he's going to a facility. Yeah. So all the corporate corporate you know vultures that's you know. So I, I'm saying all that to say that the crime is a multi billion dollar industry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but everybody's working at the together. Yeah, black death or, or you know, 
African death or what the melanated death is. Huh. No, I'm it's, 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 it's a it's, it's a a trillion dollar business, and it starts with the education. It starts with you know the indoctrination. It starts with the our, our children not knowing who they are, not really having that bond, not really having no elders that's really looking out for their well being. You understand what I'm saying? The gap in between the elders and the youngsters. That's a design also. Okay. So, I mean, financially is working to their benefit because really our children don't understand what kind of monster they're up against. We didn't. Yeah, we, we, we didn't. But we did have a few elders that, you know, gave us, gave us a clue. These little cats, like somebody was just saying earlier, they're getting trained by the internet. You know, they're being programmed to think that this is what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and but we need to call some of the house niggas that's training them too. You know, you got house niggas and you got field niggas. So that's the right, right. It's a it's a false image on how how our people live because it's a lot of our people out there that's good working good working people. Uh, people who own their own businesses, homes, everything. It's more of us in college than it is in the system. So they getting a the false advertisement. It's all that's just right. false advertisement. It's if technology can, at its finest. If I can, I want to jump back to what you were saying about the children, how they're not knowing who they are. It made me think about. Uh -huh. It made me think about the uh, Declaration of Rights of a Child. Principle three says that every child has a right to a name and a nationality. And then you know we, and then also. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what, again, if we don't know who we are, then anybody can tell us who we are. And so we didn't know who we were. Our ancestors didn't know what well, the first generation knew, but after that, that history was lost. You know what I'm saying? And so just saying that we got to know what we're up against, like you said. And so I agree with what you said, and I yield. I think outreach programs to get at, you know, school age children should be a high priority right here in Tulsa, man. Because like the sister said, you know, you you see the you see the criminality getting younger and younger and more and more deadly. Yeah, I, I said that you know, a few months ago on a post that the last ten years teen death has risen. Uh, 50, I think it was 50%, they said, uh, homicides, suicides, and uh, accidents. Mm -hmm. It's almost it's almost like they're giving up, you know. A lot, a lot of this stuff be like, back in the day, we used to call it rescuing. When, when somebody, somebody just can't get together on the outside, they used to do some, commit some kind of crime and get three hots in a cot so they can figure it out. You know what I mean? And this seemed like the mentality that some of these youngsters have, you know, because let's face it, you know, uh, the family structure is all but obliterated. Facts. In our community, it is. And that's the sad part. And then you know? I also look at, um, you know, in our community, a lot of these kids are already being branded by who their father was. Um, I have a lot of friends that, you know, they have kids that are incarcerated as well. And even though they're, the police know that they didn't commit the crime, the detectives know it, the DA know it, right? But they also know who their father was. They know that their fathers were well-known gang members. So some, some of these kids don't have a chance just because of that. You know, just because they know your father was associated with the Hoover gang, you know, or you were, your father was a Porter Green team, or your father was, he was a well-known blood. You know, when you have that jacket of that name, sometimes that'll, that'll mess you up in society as well. And I yield the floor. And then they exactly. Mean, that's, uh, why that's why they do the, that's why they do the PSI. That's why they do the PSI, the pre-sentence investigation. They go all into your family history and everything. But that's why I tell my kids they got my last name that. Because I already know, like, it's, I mean, it, it is what it is. And that's why, like, I tell a lot of people, like, in the 90s weeks, we, like, me, my brother and them, they from, 
where they from. I'm from where I'm from, but I used to be with them, and it was different. And then that's when they started the gang task force. Like you said, that's when everybody like Sticks, Blondie, nigga, the Russian. They had hell of them. It was hella gang. Like they they was on some bullshit back in the nineties. They used to be. They was a gang. To be honest, shit. But I be telling my kids that right now because. Shit, when I was a juvenile, I, I didn't have a fight with the TPD and all that type of shit. So yeah, I tell my kids that right now to this day, because when I get pulled over, when they run my name, and they finna tear up. I, I don't give a fuck who I, who if I'm not driving them on a car with somebody, but that it, it come with the territory, and then that shit is true. So it's like that's why me as a man, I tell my sons, but I tell my daughters too the same thing. They got my last name, like bro. Y'all gonna have to move a certain way. Y'all can't be out here like getting in trouble and doing all that shit because the police might take you somewhere and beat your ass. Like for real, they used to do that shit in the nineties and drop you off. And y'all ass be walking from Riverside, beat up. Shit. <laughs> and they still do it. Depending on who you is, they will still do it. I did it to my little brother. I remember uh, rest in peace to my mama before my mother passed. This was right what? Oh uh, yeah, nigga. I didn't know they still shit because nigga, I don't how they kill Fat Crunch. I thought they just shoot niggas now. Shit. Okay, this had to been like 2012, 20 yeah, about 2012, I think. But uh, they beat my little brother and brought it to my mama's house and looked up, looked to my step pops in the face and was like, "We could have killed your son tonight." <clears throat> but dirty motherfuckers, and I don't even want to get too deep into it. But yeah, they still doing it. They been- yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, that shit was real. I mean, back in the nineties, that shit, that boy, like that shit was some was for real shit. Niggas would tell you like niggas certain areas and. Tell you, you better not be walking by yourself, nigga. The police pull up, they gonna snatch your ass up and whoop your ass, nigga, and drop your ass off on Riverside. How you walk, make you walk all the way back from Mount North. I mean, from Riverside to the North. Like, they was really doing that shit. They didn't handcuff niggas and throw them out there in the water, <laughs> dragged them back up to the thing, nigga, and unhandcuffed them and left them out there laying there. Like, shit, it was going down. But yeah, it's just, it's so. Like damn, my my stepdaddy, I was he a penny, so that shit didn't make it, don't make it no better either. <laughs> like, so I just be having it. You gotta you gotta school your kids about who they people is, about what like they, the history of the shit. Like from you know because shit, it's, it's dangerous around her, but these kids don't really know that because they parent they shit. A lot of it, when I, before I went to the pen, females started having kids like at 14 and 13, then we're like back in the old days, 13, 14, 15 years old. We got also a So you at the club, you at the club with your daughter and shit, and then you a grandma at 32, 34, like it's just, shit is, is, it's wicked out here. But you got I don't know what happened when I was in the pen, but it got real, it got real crazy out here. You got to remember the history here. You got to remember the history here. After the massacre, they gave badges to clan members. They gave what? They gave police badges to clan members. Oh uh, yeah, bro, they still bro. Remember, I told That's you about the little said. Dixie Mafia. I told you about the little Dixie Mafia. I told you about McAllister. I told you how they was coming down here having clan rallies in the nineties, nigga. They was parades, whatever they want to call that shit. They was riding horses downtown with their motherfucking sheets on, all that shit on God, like nigga. They still, they, it's still, that shit is still living down here. It's alive. It's still real. Like, that shit ain't went nowhere. They just changed the names of that shit. Wasp, uh, UAB, Woodwood, 21 Woodgrain. They just changed them names, bro. That shit's still the same thing. They still live in effect. Like, you go to some of these country towns, they still got sundown towns in Oklahoma, bro. That shit is real. And it's 2024. <laughs> Yep, they I got never digital, forget, They got um, digital signs. <laughs> they got digital signs now. Nigga, now they got but they still got sundown towns. You better not be riding through that motherfucking run out of gas and it's going it's getting dark. And they you gonna be missing, nigga. That shit real. This is Oklahoma, bro. Like and it's just we can't band together, bro. We we always looking at each other upside of, uh, upside each other head and all that shit. And that's why I been I was down there last night. And that's why I'm gonna be down there tonight with my kids still and all that. Like, bro, I see some fishy shit looking shit. I'm gonna go holler at some. Hey man, y'all do that shit somewhere else, bro. And that's just what it is, bro. Cause nigga, when I was in my hood having fun, I didn't have to worry about a nigga the Juneteenth getting shot up. On God, I didn't. Like so, 
y'all ain't gonna be fucking it up for all these other people's kids and it, people wanna have their kids down there and all this shit and these youngsters wanna shoot up it bang, shoot them up bang bang everywhere. Cause that's the music they listening to. They watching this shit on YouTube and on all these internet websites, and that's what they think it is. But then when they in jail, they homies ain't sending them nothing. They in there getting beat up by their own homies, getting extorted if they getting some money, and niggas heard about them on the street. Oh, that nigga really wasn't nothing. He was a shooter. Oh, this nigga can't fight. Oh, uh, nigga, we finna take, oh, this nigga's noodles, and he supposed to be the homie. They ain't talking about that that's going on in prison. They ain't telling these youngsters what really going on in the pen because they don't want them to be like, oh, well, I ain't trying to go to the pen. So they lie to him and tell him how, oh, it'd be lovely and all that shit. You can get a bag in there, some tobacco and all that shit and take care of your family. Then when you get out, you mad at your family because they done spent all the tobacco money up and all that bullshit. Now you and your family done fell out over some bullshit. <laughs> like, it's just all designed, fucked up, and people make it look cool when it really ain't cool because they ain't going to break it down. Like, nigga, I ain't a pen. Juvenile hall, you can get raped in there. They had Lori Raider back in the day. Niggas was getting raped, beat up. All kind of shit, killing themselves, hanging themselves in there. They ain't talking about all that shit, the realness. They wanna say, oh, nigga, this is sad, it's cool, whoop de bam. Then when you go to the yard, your homies ain't fucking with you out of area code, banging the four or five niggas over here, the nine way eight niggas over there, the five, eight old niggas over there, then they come together when they got to. They ain't telling them all they ain't telling them all the real. Like so I have the gorgeous is putting some of them in the hall and killing them. You know, rest in peace to Myron. I don't know if y'all yeah, heard I know that, that story. That, yeah, that's that's my nigga, my tall ass Myron. Nigga. Yes, that bro, was my homeboy. I, I know that nigga, bro, on God. I, that nigga was a. That, I used to tell that nigga when he was first, back in the day when he first came to the pen, like, bro, what you doing on the yard, bro? Like, nigga, you was playing pigs, pop offs, and hooping and shit, nigga. Tall ass, nigga. Myron Martin, nigga. Yeah, that's my partner. And they killed oh, him. I don't care what they say. I was reading through that story, and like it still need to be investigated. But they just threw it right under the water. But I told, but I got that's why I be trying to tell my kids about that shit too in prison. I be telling my mom and them, they ain't gonna put that shit on the news on TV, bro. All the deaths that be happening in there. And hell yeah, they trying to kill niggas off with fitting out in there. They trying to make them niggas take pills and do all that shit. And this and that and them niggas ain't doing it. So they beat them to death. And then make it, then putting that shit in their system, trying to say they overdosed and they owe somebody some money. So somebody else beat them up and then they died over an OD and all that shit. They making that shit, they making it look like how they want to make it look. I still think they killed my partner, little Bruce. So I ain't even gonna care. Bro, I mean, they ain't, bro, bro. Nine times out of ten, if you think it or you feel it, it that's real, bro. That's how it's going down in there, bro. They ain't playing no games. Yeah, bro, wasn't there but two days, and then all of a sudden, yeah. That's Just like clientele. That what did you say he was in A and R? Uh, uh, little old? Yeah, he was in A and R. Boom, dead. Nigga, oh, <laughs> come on, bro. Like, come on, man. This shit, this system down here is. That's what I'm saying. one game. I heard it was this. Peace, y'all. Peace, shalom, shalom, peace, brothers and peace, sisters. Brother Islam, peace. What's going on, bro? Shalom, peace. Oh um, man, you know, just calling, man. I'm sure, chopped up with my brother. I had to make it in, man. You know, my skills would be kind of hectic, but man, I'll be trying to make sure I make it, man. What's good with everyone, though? Yeah, you know, we good, baby. We in here, baby. Until it's time to go to the general thing. We in here, though. Yeah, you know, we on the block right now, man. Come on, man. you know where I'm at. I was just over there yet last night. You know, I'm on, I got it. I'm going to be on my way back in a minute. Boom. I got to be on foot patrol like back in the 90s. <laughs> Make sure. <it scary. laughs> I'm going to bring a load up there, man. I got my guy boys with me, man. Ah, uh, what's happening? What's happening, Greenwood? Hey, hey, you at work, Ken Paul? Nah, I'm at the apartment. I'm about to be on my way up there. I should bring the killers out. Dogs, but I ain't, I ain't got time for this. Man, hold on. Y'all doing all right? How everybody doing, man? We good. Yeah, these my guys, man. That's great. That's right. That's right. I apologize, man. Yeah, I apologize for coming in like that, man. You feel me? I hope y'all enjoy y'all day. Hey, bro. I'm on the block with it, man. All right, I'll tap in as soon as I get there. That's right. <clears throat> well, well, I'm sorry to yeah. interject, man. I've seen y'all was having a conversation about uh, some things, man. Uh, I heard you bring up the, uh, my brother clientele, man. Rest in peace. God bless his soul, man. 
Good guy, man. Yeah. Stand up guy, man. Yeah. I was on the yard with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Bougie, Bougie used to hoop with Myron. That's how I kind of met yeah. Myron was through Bougie. Who's I know crazy. I know small world, hey, man. Hey, I'm kind of on in y'all conversation, bro. But nigga, both of them, Myron, clientele, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know, it's small just like world, it's man. just, it's just like other. all we had to do was call like, Cincinnati. Though, it's just like. But I'm talking about like like how the police be getting down in the pen, how how oh, the man. homies be down, in, how the homies be getting down in the pen, and that's what these youngsters ain't hearing about. Hey. Of course, that's I mean, you gotta and have morals and ethics, man, in the code of conduct, man, within your you know your 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 uh hold on, hold on, hold on. your representation of what no, you know no. what you you know your part or whatever you you know you coming from. But at the same time, you gotta be a stand up guy as an individual yourself and be a man. You know what I'm saying? Bro. First, you know what I'm saying? Bro, in the penitentiary, bro. Listen, I just left, bro. I just left. I was an orderly at A and R, bro. Twenty twenty one. Bro, a nigga got to be smart, bro, because the guards was popping the doors for us, bro, to get on people, to do shit that they wasn't trying to do. It just came out. It just came out now. But, bro, listen, bro, I was one of the ones, bro. I was an orderly. I ain't, gonna lie. I ain't all the way right, and I ain't all the way wrong, bro, but you know what I mean? But now, this, I, I, this community time, bro, this is I, about... This about the real, just what 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 they don't hear, like like what nah, they don't bro, be hearing listen, about. Listen, bro, I was an orderly, bro, and they was giving us, like, check it, okay, at night, for instance, bro, they they uh let us come into the CO office, bro, and they was showing us like all the sex offenders. Everybody oh, yeah. had some type of crimes, yeah, that, bro. Yeah, that, bro. That, that, so that, that happened too. Listen, listen, bro. So basically, they open a door for extortion because we already being starved out. You feel me? But, yeah. bro, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't participate in an extortion. But, or running in on sales with people, bro. I didn't get engaged in all it, but it was open to me. And I seen yeah, it. I said, yeah, Damn, that, bro. But that's what I'm trying to get these youngsters to understand. Like, your own homies will eat you alive on the yard. It's yeah, dog yeah, eat yeah. dog. Bro, it's the ones that you came up with that you gotta watch when you go to the pri when you go to prison. Like, it's no morals, it's no integrity no more, bro. Like, and, and little Justin, little Justin, one told me that when I first hit the yard behind the yard, like in t behind the fence in two thousand two or something. And little Justin looked me right in my eyes, and nigga that I went to school with used to be at his grandma's house and all that. He said, "Nigga, your own brother will turn on you in here." I looked at the nigga like he was crazy. Like, bro, we grew up together. I'll beat you up. <laughs> you okay. no, you didn't get no. ganged a little weight. He was just letting but you know that that's he what he, he had already yeah. experienced, bro. It wasn't about yeah, he, who, yeah. who was stronger. He was not, nah, yeah, he was just telling was me just the truth. You know, nigga, hey, man, but, be aware of this. But it was fucked up the way, the way. So, because, you know, in the hood, when we grew up, that shit wasn't, we didn't do all that shit. We wasn't backbiting and, and, and we wasn't doing shit to each other like that. Like, nigga, hell no, nah, we will fight and still be cool. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 it wasn't like no we fight and, you, and we still hang out. Like, we, we fight and hang out still. We keep hanging out yeah. after we fight. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, we ain't trying to kill each other and do all yeah, that shit nah. and all that other shit. Nah, nah, like, nah. You nah, know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm mad man. for the moment, bro. You feel me? It's momentarily madness. But other than that, bro, we know how to kind of communicate better to where we don't have to engage in you no know, physical activities, bro. Foremost, but Back you know, sometimes we might get to a point like me and Joe Ball used to do, bro. Like we fought all the time, so it's just it it it, it, it varies on. The relationship, brother. You feel me? I already know. Can I ask you a question, so, brother? Start. All right, without, without giving no names, can you give us a story? Yeah. One time something happened, you know what I'm saying? When the guards open them doors, you ain't got to get no names. We're just going you know to I mean? get people like. No, nah, listen. That's not, that's not, a, we're not glorifying it, but that's not a place nah. to be. I'm I'm finna give you a story. I'm finna give you a story right now, bro. Okay, check it. Anything we try to find a solution nah. to going to them type of situations and try to avoid us going into them situations. You know what I'm saying? Like we yeah, have our experiences nah, he in wanna... them situations, but we try to show other uh, people like, hey, you know, what can we do to show them avoid they even 
he didn't type it into the type of situation. Or we can do the type of thing. People that I, you know what I'm bro, I, I, I'm just hearing brother out, bro, because I'm respecting the whole conversation, bro. But I wanted him to get his. You feel me out? But look, okay, I can listen. Listen, bro. Okay. Bro, he asked the question, bro. I'm delivering the message, man. You feel me? Bro, hear me out. Okay. I was just there, bro. 2021. May. Boom. I'm an orderly, right? 23 and 1. Everybody in the cells, locked down. You know what I'm saying? And. I didn't understand the magnitude of the work that I was signing up for being an orderly. You feel me? So I'm running up and down stairs and shit, bro, with, with uh milk, running out of milk, handing trays out. So I run it, a young nigga, a young nigga, young nigga, like 21, mm -hmm. bro. I'm get, I'm doing I'm trying my best to be righteous with everybody. I'm not extorting nobody. Nothing, bro. I know who the homeless are. I know who the child molesters. I know who didn't you feel me? I know everybody case. Mm -hmm. But it was it was a it was like a it was like it was a test. It wasn't from the Lord, bro, because the Lord don't test you, bro. It's the devil, bro. And I like did righteous, but I fell out with a little nigga. The little nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he's cell banging like niggas when I pop out this cell when I get out, nigga, we gonna get it, we gonna get to it. You feel me? Yeah. And I kinda I kinda lost my cool, like nigga. Cause he got to pop in some gang shit, bro. But it wasn't even about no gang shit. Cause he he see, he was looking at who I was running with, bro. Cause the nigga that I was running with was extorting people for trades, bro. You feel me? And we both orderlies, but I didn't know at this moment. So, boom, the little nigga popping. I'm an orderly, so I can I can pop out my cell and go see what's happening. Just a miscellaneous. I, I slid up there on the little nigga and was like, look, bro. He said, no, nah, man, I apologize, bro. I was wrong. I said, no, nah, look, bro, I was wrong. You feel me? Because he thinking that I was extorting trades. You feel me? Everybody in there starving, bro. Yeah. Everybody in there and are starved, bro. So he looking like, damn, this nigga, he extorting trays. He, he passing out the milk. He passing out the trays. He treating. Nah, I had to, to break it down to him. Like, look, bro, that ain't, you know what I mean? Like, just because you see bro doing that don't mean I'm doing it, but I am guilty by association. So it taught me something, too. So it was a good, it was a, but. Brothers popping in on, on they popped the doors, they let us pop in and try to rough niggas up, bro. But I didn't engage in that, bro, because that's not my MO, bro. But it was available for us, bro. Now I can't speak for everybody else, bro. But me, I was trying because we was all everybody, we was all in a bad situation. So anything I can do to help, I was trying to help, but I was running with a nigga that was taken, so I'm being looked at the same way. That's where I learned. I said, oh, and this, bro, I'm 41 years old. I learned this is 39. So, you know, it kind of helped. It kind of helped my rehabilitation, bro. You know what I mean? But we didn't really just get no violent like that, bro. Like, it was available, but it wasn't necessary, bro. But we knew, we knew what we can do and that it was available for us bro you feel me yeah and certain i ain't people take advantage of certain situations yeah. That's some, some, some people did but you said you didn't yeah but we was raised better than that that's why yeah bro like it was available <laughs> it happened bro but i wasn't involved in it because i knew better bro and i'm trying to help bro. i can tell y'all story i can tell y'all man this nigga right here Bro, when we was young, teenagers, and one of the homies, his name started getting bad in the hood, and this and this fella right here pulled up with him in the car. <laughs> this fella right here pulled up with him in the car. So I said behind him in the car. And then when we crossed over Greenwood, 
I told I told Bougie, I'm like, stop the car, and told the nigga to get out the car. And then him and Bougie went to a little tussling match, and his daddy came jogging out of nowhere. So I'm like, Bougie, chill out, chill out, Bougie, chill out. So then this nigga Bougie girlfriend called my auntie them, Bougie mama them, they come down the street, tell us to go to the house, boom. Like, man, this dude been through, this is my guy right here, bro, like, and, and this nigga, he from Hoover, and I'm from Hood, bro, but we've been rocking since elementary school, bro, real shit. And the nigga that I was that I that I told him to stop the car with is one of my older homies. And the nigga walked down the street and was crying. And if I'm lying, Bucci could tell me I'm lying. Nigga, the nigga walked down the street and was crying. Said, "I watched you niggas grow up. I raised y'all. Y'all was gonna try to do me like that." Mm -mm. But it's just a play. Was what we was on when we was young, and it was a part of this shit, bro. Like, but we didn't do it, and it's a reason that shit happened like that because we know this nigga daddy, bro. We call this nigga daddy our uncle, bro. I say next door to the pops right now, bro. <laughs> and that's how close the hood been. But it was, it was, it was, it was times that niggas was almost about to make fucked up decisions, and something happened that the decision didn't get, that we was gonna make didn't get to happen, and it was for a reason, bro. Because we, but we was raised better than that too, though. Bro, we was taught to operate, bro, with integrity, bro. You feel me? Bro, I, we all got emotions, bro. You feel me? We all got got different triggers, bro. But foremost, bro. We was taught to operate with some integrity, bro. I know how people feel, bro. I know about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not yeah. perfect, bro. Yeah. I make mistakes, Y'all don't watch bro. me. No, Shit, I know, you know, I know. This Y'all don't watch me go through We it. all make mistakes, they and a mistake cannot judge. Things we had to endure, we had to learn on our own, but we was in an environment where we could learn and how to... Flourish and prosper. We do know we wanted something better for ourselves. Bro, we we, we can't own. judge nobody off no mistakes, bro. And that no, once we can get that out of out of our system, yeah. we'll be so able to you know what I'm saying? move forward. Yeah, we can move forward as a unit. Yeah, bro. Like you know, we hold we crucify each other, bro, for making small mistakes, bro. When we all make mistakes, bro, you feel me? That's that's the start, bro. Like we crucify each other for small things, bro, that we shouldn't even do it, bro. If we conscious of our mistakes, bro, at least aware of the, the next man that he, we made a mistake and we need to correct it, bro. You yeah, we like, all, all, all going to make same systematic oppression by the same systematic oppressor. Right. Yeah. And then, listen, just, just a conversation, bro, is therapeutic, bro. I've been going to therapy. A lot of a lot of this stuff is therapeutic. I'm gonna tell you what's most important though. I really just want to listen. You hear me? See, see, see. I'm eager to listen to what people got to say, bro. You hear me? I want to know the other side, bro. I just know my side. I just know what I done went through. I can't speak for nobody else. But I do know I need to listen, bro. I'm trying to intake. I'm trying to take in as much good wisdom, knowledge, other people's views, point of view, bro. That's what I want to hear. I don't want to just, in the word, it's like lean on, not on thy own understanding. So, boom. You feel me? So it's it's good. It's good that y'all got this going, bro. You know what I mean? And I ain't tripping on being involved, but it's therapeutic and it's healthy. So you know, I applaud y'all, man. Y another question. Nigga, as, residents, as residents of the Greenwood District, let me ask y'all another question. Do you, do you think that I know the history was taught to all y'all individually? I know the elders passed that knowledge down to y'all. You know I mean, what, what was passed down to them? Right. Uh, do you think that we can Tulsa as a city we we can get back to the group economic mentality that that uh financial literacy economic mentality? Do you think we can we can get back to No hold on let me, let, no, 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 no 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 let I'm a, anybody listen I, I want to speak last because I'm, I'm respecting the, I respect the conversation, so I'm not. You feel me? So no, he asked. He asking the question. He asked you a question. Okay. Yeah, he okay. asked you a question. No, okay. Everybody, I mean, three, when, I mean, it's three y'all. Okay. Really. It's you, okay. brother Slim, check it out. And, and, and Uno. You know what I'm saying? It's three y'all. But the okay, system, check the it out, brother. That, as well, though. Go ahead. Nah, that was a great question because I can kind of relate this whole conversation. 
to you, bro. We need more people like you just willing to ask these questions. Because listen, bro, until we ask these questions, we can't get the answers. Our mind is still void. See, my whole family, bro, came up on Greenwood, bro. You feel me? I still live on Greenwood, bro, right now. So, so he asked you, do you think that we can get it back to the economic differences from back then yeah, to now? Most, most definitely, bro, but we got to be willing to teach. We got to each one teach one, bro. It's just, no, we got to pass what we got to each other, bro, before we can pass it to, we got to pass it amongst each other, bro. You feel me? And, and 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 we just got to build. Now, it's now, one step at a time. It's one step. We got to build it. No, bro, it's a collaborative mind state. We all got to be pushing for the same goal, bro. See, we got to, we got to, we got to. No, nah, listen. We're going to get to a point where we were. It ain't about that, bro. But see, that's, that shouldn't even be a thought when we're doing. Some people are not us. Listen, it don't matter. What you doing that for? Kenpo, what are you? And that's what I'm saying. So all those different thoughts is just the devil to deceive you from where you where we really trying to go so like i don't even have them thoughts about I'm any any bro i want to see whoever blow up i don't have no hate in my heart toward nobody nah, bro it's, it's about listen this is about if we can build amongst us bro don't worry about the nigga, the devil's work you were listen no i can't triple back but i can't control why you even thinking so 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 i'm gonna ask you Listen, bro. A thought, no, a thought, a simple thought alters the actions, bro. Don't no. nigga, I know, Cuddy. I'm going. I, I'm. I'm self progression, bro. Daily, bro. You feel me? So, 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 so what's the reason you think that in in the 1800s, the back the our ancestors can build social media, bro, and the white folks, bro. Uh, it was basically social media, but it was that um no 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 what's that word when when they take the white when they when they move us out of our community regentrification bro that's ninety percent of the thing around here you feel me well, first then we have to figure out how to purchase Greenwood back now with that being said that's why i keep going back to this community stuff because we got out of these communities we got the terrence crutcher foundation which i know got the money we got black lives matter which i know that didn't extort us some money but the problem is instead of helping our community we're extorting our community so let's exactly. go back into that and so so that's why we be that's why that's why i hollered at akunu and that's why I came up with Community Convo because it's a lot of people in, the, in these communities that ain't saying how they feel, no, or ain't saying, no, ain't saying what 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 they feel can change the narrative. No, 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 no. So, so you know, the, one, the main problem, bro, and I'm gonna get to the root, bro. The main problem is we don't want to speak up. You feel me? Ain't nobody. Yeah, we don't own Greenwood, like we first. I, <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Yeah. I'm just saying as like even if you stepped up to speak up, we ain't willing to support. You feel me? So right. we gotta be willing to support each other for somebody to speak up. Can See? I add on to what you're saying? Absolutely. I feel like that's that's that Willie Lynch mentality. You know elders, that's what I was gonna get into. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm saying the elders, because those those who are down there. They, they don't want to hear what we got to say. Hey, hey, bro, I they live down here, bro. I've been down. I've been. I've been a Greenwood resident my whole life, bro. And I know what we missing, bro. They living in that old shit, bro. Like I'm willing to speak up. When I heard that they dismissed the case, when I heard they dismissed the case here recently. I understand why. I understand the whole legal system and the status and how the highest all played out. But I'm watching the same people who've been down there for the last five plus years. Yeah, you know, I ain't gonna say their name. If they heard it, if they ever watch it, they know who they are. But 
they ain't making no change down there. They they letting them Europeans down there run Greenwood. You know why? It go back to the gatekeeper. This is like Hollywood down here, bro. Listen, nah, listen. Oh, listen, right. bro. Listen. No. We've been trained, bro. Like, bro. like, bro is actually saying, bro. Like, don't, ain't nobody willing to stand up and say, nigga, fuck that, bro. Let's buy all this shit back. Nigga, let's rally for something. Stand up for something. Nigga, if we do that, bro, niggas gonna be running. Nigga, the niggas that you thought, the niggas that we thought would support us gonna run. You feel me? So, we, we, we got to figure out another angle to back to the conversation we had in, in the last community conversation. When they killed DeAndre Starks in 2014, then it was Jeremy Lake, then it was Joshua Beret, Eric Harris, right. and so many others. Tulsa was silent. Only if, like, I, I mean, I was down there, I met a few of the mothers and stuff, but but, 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 it's but then Joshua Beret. But then, Joshua Beret. When George Floyd got, got killed, got killed. Bro. little bro got killed, nigga. Uh, it, it, R and R, but yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. You feel me? But we yeah. we lost a, you know what I mean? But when, bro, when George Floyd got killed. We got, killed, play, we got at least playing a seed, bro. That, that was my problem. When George and, and, and rest in peace to George Floyd. But when it took somebody to die outside of our community for, for the town, of, they want to go downtown and start riots. Bro, I was listen, listen, bro. And I got I got a personal experience, bro. Listen, okay, I'm locked up at Avalon. Boom. Me and Fat Crush, bro. It was times he could have killed me. Peace, yeah. yeah. On me, I'm gonna keep it all the way down with you. But it was. I could have probably, you feel me? But to make a long story short, bro, before he passed, I seen him at the bus station. And me and him, was we was cool. We was on some, how you doing, brother? You feel me? He like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep yourself together. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Next day, you know, he get killed. I said, ooh. You feel me? So, I mean, you know, man, it's just, man, we got to plant the seed, bro. Somebody yeah, got to I, I go back to this. <laughs> we just got to plant the seed, bro. I go back and be bro. patient and be patient with each other as well as ourselves in the process. You feel me? It's a process, bro, but we all got to be willing to be patient with each other you know what i mean see listen with this group that i'm talking to about i know that see like the questions that you ask is gonna pull the best out of me so that's what i uh, that's what attract me to this type of vibes you feel me we do this every friday you know what i'm saying yeah. this, this, this gonna be it's on my youtube channel that's right but you know bro like just that thought process that's what we need bro see like we gotta we gotta get back to giving our youth and giving our younger ones and giving each other a thought process that they haven't probably experienced bro i got a, i got another thought for us and i've been saying this and i'm sure somebody gonna hear this and i, and I hope somebody steal my idea because i i, I want to see this but remember uh uh mclean shopping over there by, uh, by the five phone store right remember had the mid k family dollar uh, a million dollars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I used to be a pharmacy tech over there. I was licensed too. But yeah, I remember. The north I side. The north side. Hey, sis, we know you. Hey, sis, we know you from over there. Stop playing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing. Oh, no, ain't I'm playing. no chicken shack. No chicken shack. <laughs> I used to be there too. <laughs> JD Mans, JD Mans, and Andy Seafood. You hear me? I'm that. But, but this is the, this is my, this is my vision though. We as a people, fuck, we, we we can't keep waiting on somebody else to do for our community. Right. So so we as a people. Let's be, let's invest in that that community that, that spot right there. Even even Listen. Gibbs. Well, we, we we could put a, we could put a Gibbs there. I forgot, but Gibbs rebuilt. But uh, <laughs> let, let, let's, let's stay focused on that spot. So let's do McLean Shopping Center. That's, that's a, a, a proto see, thing right see, there. See. Go ahead, brother. I, I apologize. My bad, bro. Go ahead, bro. You good? My no, go ahead. Brandon. But a produce stand. Let's put a produce stand in there. You know what I'm saying? A, a mental a, a mental place. Mental for, health. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a mental health place for the youth, you know what I'm saying? Or 
a drug and a, a one for the, the youth on one side, far on the other end, you know what I'm saying? And then one for like alcohol abuse. Listen, listen, bro. Mental health, bro. I got a question. Listen, I, I, I'm nine hours away from my bachelor's degree in sociology. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just graduated from school for HVAC and, and, and electric. So the Lord kind of showed me that, you know what I'm saying? It ain't too late for me, but I've been leaning in that mental health area bro because like i like heat and air and shit bro but we need mental health we need somebody a service that provides me. some type of mental health help mind. you feel me so bro that's absolutely a one bro because we need that but i think i might go on and finish this little last little nine hours man and you know what i'm saying i might need y'all support man you feel me like shit, bro. It's something. Listen, if y'all don't feel like I can offer a service, we can build. You feel me? Like I kind of understand. Like it's a science behind all our behaviors. You feel me? Everything mm. is addictive. That's what this is about, man. This is about bringing our people. That's what me and Uno was on. You know what I mean? Because I used to bring the set. You know what I'm saying? I'm 107. You know what I'm saying? But it's about bringing our people together. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, it's, it's bigger than that, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, hey, you heard what he said, you heard what he said when Slim called <laughs> one game, he was in the background, yeah, because it's just bro, we it's one man, we won, man. It ain't about no game, bro. I ain't on no game talk, you feel me? But yeah, but I, I, but, I know but, what's but, up, bro, you feel me? But, but I, didn't, and I, 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 I didn't already my brother. explain, I didn't already explain the one game movement to Okuno. Like yeah, I, so, but, so it, it was it's bro. really it's really a movement like back in the day with NWA with Easy and we mm -hmm. all in the same game. It's yeah, the same, like, bro. It's the same shit. I love my people, man. And anybody just moving, you know what I'm saying, taking a step towards, you know what I mean, perseverance, bro. Because that's what we all got to do, bro. We gonna have to persevere, bro. We gonna have to overcome different obstacles. So anybody just embracing them obstacles, bro. I'm fully 100 supportive. You feel me? So. Like anything I can do to help support the movement, man. I'm involved, man. You feel me? I want to be able to make a change, man. I want to be involved in the change, man. Yeah, you feel me? So and keep in mind, everybody, I can help when it comes to things as far as resources, because I worked at the electric company for nine years. I also have 10 credits, 10 classes, my bad, left um, before I graduate with an electrical engineering degree. So uh, even though I don't have the company, go, I can out. pretty much tell you, you know, uh, your electric is cut off. I can tell you how to make them cut it on for 30 days. I can right. tell you, you know, before you purchase a business, is that a good idea? We can look at what the deposit would cost. I can tell you how to get them to lower it. Um, it's pretty much anything. You just Listen, you tell I'm, me and I'm I'll tell you. you said that because you just made me think. Going back to going back, and I apologize for cutting y'all off again. You good, bro. You good, bro. But going back to that, my, my thought of the McLean Shopping Center, again, everything we need is in our community. We have the electricians, we have the, the, the construction workers, we have the, the, the techs, we have the people that can build floors, you know what I'm saying, do roofings, you know what I'm saying? We got I did that my whole life, you feel me? Roofing, bro, it's it's really, bro, like, and I, I'm sorry to cut you off, bro, but just to add to what you're saying, bro. We ain't gotta go out of our community, man. We gotta corner the market. Only thing we we missing the common in unity for the community. Right. But yeah. listen, listen, bro. When they see certain people come together, bro, it's just all about certain people. It, it, it's like a puzzle, bro. You feel me? Like you gonna have to dig through these pieces to find certain pieces to go together, bro. That's how this. You know what I mean? Like. Once people see that it, we, it's something progressive, something that, you know what I mean, that's healthy for us, bro, that's, that's contributing and not taking away, bro, they're going to be in for it, bro. You know what I mean? You know what I would like to put in that shopping center now that we're talking about it? Um, I want to do, I had uh, my nephew and my great nephew, they were a Puerto Green team and they were murdered, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my brothers, Tay, you know, Richard Monte Briggs, Peanut, them is my brothers. So what I would like to see happen, um, I would like to start something like where 
if somebody is in a gang and they really, really trying to get out, right? They can come to my agency. You know what I'm saying? We can talk. We can find a better state for them to live in and um, help them up, hook them up with a job. You know, they may need to mm-hmm. further their education. We can mm-hmm. educate them about the real life of gangs and all of that and just see them yeah. on their way. That's what if I want. If, if I know what? If I no, no. So youth, so youth services. You right? and, and, and no, 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 no. Gang. That's a gang type of intervention, bro. Gang for, yeah. yeah, gang prevention, you sir. The first Pim. two years that I called myself, I ain't gonna say the homie. Some homie still. Either way it goes. The first two years was when I distanced myself from that the organization. I'm gonna say it like that. I did wonder how the homies was gonna feel. How was you know what I mean? What what may happen? The saying is it's only one way in, one way out. Mm-hmm. You have to change your environment. That's all it is. You That's not your enough. You change your mindset, bro. Listen, I moved to Iowa not to cut you off, bro. I was on the run from 2017 to 2019, bro. I moved to Iowa for a year. And the Lord restored me, bro. Like for this first, at first, it was how I spoke. You feel me? It was how I talk, how I interact with each other, like. Using the profanity, knowing that I know better. I know how to talk better. I know how to interact better. I got better communication. My vocabulary is better. So he restored that. But, bro, not to cut you off, man. No, you're good. We got we got to start somewhere, bro. And, and getting out of our environment, because this environment is more toxic than anything I ever experienced. You feel me? But me going to Iowa... And having a chance to look back at everything that I was engaging in and the mind state that I had living around here, boom, I get caught in Iowa. I go to the penitentiary from Iowa. They bring me back to the town. I go to Tulsa County. I see all this crazy shit with these niggas. My homeboys, my partners, young partners. I said, damn. So... I started, I was already in my word, so I started leading prayer call, bro. And that, I kind of planted the seed, bro, of changing, bro. You feel me? And it was just a start, man. And you know what I mean? I've been just building from there, bro. But, like, change of the environment is very important for people like us, bro. Most definitely, bro. I, say, I apologize for cutting you off, bro. No, you're good. But that's why I be saying we got to change the narrative, like, Instead of all the RIPs and free the homies, why not say the homie got a bachelor's degree? Why not say the homie got his master's? The homie got his degree in engineering. The homie got his degree in science. You know, and support it and be happy. You feel me? Like genuinely, yeah. like bro, we don't believe, bro. It's, it, our thing is, bro. The thing that I probably, bro, like, and it probably is probably go on with every, bro. We don't believe, my nigga. Like, bro, I now. I have been restored, bro, so I believe, bro, but five years ago, bro, I didn't believe like I believe now, bro. You feel me? First, it started with, you got to believe, man. You got to believe, man. We got to believe that we can do it, bro. Uh, But look what these youngsters have to believe in around here. Just look. I mean, (laughs) you got the corner stores. Listen, listen. it ain't nobody stepping up. It's no one stepping up besides the ones that ain't got nothing to lose when when listen when, when you step to these youngsters you got to be able to say youngster look bro this is how i've been stepping to them because i done got my life together so when i step to them and they say yeah man bro what you doing man i can't i say bro i don't even live like that bro i don't sell nothing bro nigga I go to work every day, bro. Everything that you've seen me do, bro, is from hard on work this time, bro. I'm not selling nothing. I'm living righteous. You feel me? And start giving them the clues or the tips of what I did to change my life, bro. You feel me? So that's that's how I've been starting, but it's more I can do. But I need more support. I need more people. I need, I need to be involved with y'all. You feel me? That's why I say it start with us. And that's why I mean, we're doing this because it's bigger than us, man. It's, it's, it's. I just want to be a part of the change, bro. Because I know I can offer something. You know what I mean? I owe it. Plenty of times I could have lost my life out here, man. You feel me? 
God is good, bro. The community is good, bro. I can't lie. It ain't nothing. Bro, a lot of my decisions were self-inflicted, but I can help. You feel me? The people that I know. So that's another thing. Like something like something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me get out. Uh he got this organization. I was gonna say it, but the, the acronyms is songs, S-O-N-G-S. But it's basically something he wants to do like a little youth center, you know what I'm saying? But that would be something we could put in there, you know what I'm saying? Where you could have actual guys who were ex-gang members, who don't you know what I'm bro. saying? Bro. Listen, bro. These are things we need in our community. And I also say right there because, and I'm, I'm going to let you go, but I say right there because it's right in the middle. They ain't got to go all the way to Turley, and they ain't got to go all the way to Pine or past Pine. Bro, listen to me. That what what you saying is absolutely perfect, bro. And what sister saying, bro, we gotta put, we gotta support it. You feel me? And see, once once you see that I'm supporting you, you gonna support. We gonna all support. It, it just it just take a. We gotta leap out, bro. We gotta take a step on faith, bro. Somebody gotta take a step. You feel me? Right. All right. We can do. We, we can do it all, bro. Cause. Everything that we done talked about is a valuable need to the community that we live in, bro, to make a change, bro. Because listen, talking, they took group economics, right? I mean, yeah, bro. Because they took listen, they took they took all the gyms out of the community, bro, and replaced them with dispensaries, bro. So what we gonna do? Come on. So I'm gonna give you some game, like all right. So it was a more from Oakland, California. He had told me that with him and some other moors, some other uh, conscious moors that did. And this was like 2008. It was uh, they had invested into this building that the rent was like $800 a month, and it was four of them. But as long as all four of them had a $200 at the end of the month, they were selling different businesses out this one business, out this, yeah, out this one building. You know what I'm saying? And so just the thought of group economics, you look at how Black Wall Street was built, how it was built, uh, what you girly. And those other fellows and, and sisters came together, and invested their money in property, and built those right. things. So that's the same game. All we got to do is come together, invest like a thousand. We, we spend a thousand dollars a week. Hear me out. Lace my shoes, nigga. I ain't tripping. You hear me, bro? You know what I'm saying. I wanna listen, bro. I ain't tripping on no money, bro. I wanna make a change. You feel me? But foremost, we gotta leave something, a good legacy, bro. You feel me? Every other so, every other nation do it. Why we don't do it? Come on, bro. And we deserve that, bro. You know, we Black Wall Street residents, man. We bosses, man. Niggas is kings and queens, man. Everything that y'all didn't spoke, bro, was was you know what I'm saying, gems, bro. So like I'm fully supportive of whatever, man. I'm. I, I just need, bro. I've been looking for y'all, bro. You feel me? But I evidently I just fell into the right position today. You feel me? But and this I is something that I need to be involved in, man. I agree with you. A million percent of us being kings and queens. We spill some shit back in the country. Yeah, we act like peasants. We are right. shaking our ass. You hear what I said? Our hands in the yeah. and killing each other. We got to get away from that peasantry mentality. You know what I'm saying? And 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 learn that. You know what I'm saying? Carry ourselves, our integrity, hold ourselves to a certain standard, man. And as, as the prophet said, we must we must learn to love and instead of hate. Right. And see, well, until you until you can love yourself though, and it's not love yourself, it's love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Until you can love your neighbor, bro. But the family structure got to get right again. But once we lost first, big mama, once we lost grandma, once we lost mama. Yeah, all the all the family reunions, all the holiday shit was over with. It's gone. It's over with. So, bro, we just gotta we just gotta start with a foundation, man. Anything that y'all feel that this a start, man. I just I'm gonna take the support of what it. you just said, and I apologize for cutting you out, but you but I did it be just popping in my head. Nah, yeah. bro, you you do your thing, bro, because this how this that's how life, this how we supposed to be able to communicate. But with what you said is like. We're understanding how when we lose big mama, mama, you know what I mean, grandma, et cetera, we must understand how important she is. She must understand how important she is herself. Right. 
You know what I mean? She got to correct herself. And this ain't no disrespect to, to, to the sisters at all, nothing like that. Just right. saying in general. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And then, yeah. listen, bro. Also, yeah. like, we got to be open for each other to correct us, bro, if I was wrong. And, and then, see, listen, if I can accept you correcting me, bro, I know that I'm not led out into this world and I ain't going to be making mistakes and, and looking at people like I wasn't wrong. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to be accountable when I step out. So I want my people to hold me accountable. So don't, we got to hold each other accountable. That's the standard. You feel me? Like, okay, if I, if I, if I speak out of turn, for instance, I'm going to apologize, bro, because I didn't mean to speak out of turn, but, bro, I couldn't help myself. So I owed you an apology because I couldn't help myself. You feel me? Like, these is, these is just simple things that so we can start with amongst each other, knowing, like, bro, we communicating and we both saying, bro, I apologize. Because it's respect, right? So... We just gotta build everything. Every conversation is 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 we building. You know what I mean? And we're gonna get to a, we and then you'll get to a, a a space to where we can start putting the swift work in, bro. But we still gotta plan this shit, bro. It's starting the mind, bro. And if everybody got different alternatives, bro, we can't start nothing yet. You feel me? So it's good, it's good to know where people's minds at, bro. And correction is always necessary. Right. So I would say we need to discuss what our overall goals are, right? And then try to create a nonprofit organization. I would say that that's the biggest story. Akuna, what I tell you, Akuna. I'm saying, like, that's why I'm glad we, everything for a reason. And, and bro being on here, sis being on here, brother, everybody. On. Hey. I mean, it's growing, but brother Kareem show being kind of silent, bro. Go on, hit us with that old school, baby. Man, he might be loving the conversation, man. He might be intrigued. Hey, hey, now, hey, hey, don't, don't, don't let, don't let him, don't let him fool you when he get there, boy. He yeah, have yeah, me yeah, hyped. He have me hyped up over here. You hear me? Yeah. Hey, hey, one, listen to me. I've been going through this in therapy, bro. Let that man speak for himself, bro. He got his own feelings, nigga. Hey, I just want I just want him to hit me with that fire. Nah, if he ain't feeling like saying it, bro, he don't feel like doing it. Hey, no, nah, nah, it, it wasn't that. I just didn't want to talk over nobody. You know, uh, listen, Ken Folk, I embrace. We embrace that, bro. So, you know, I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. Nigga, so you can tell me, hey, bro, let me talk, nigga. It's my turn, nigga. I'm nah, that type of this. You feel me, Ken Folk? I'm just saying, bro. Right. You know, I apologize to y'all. For over talking, I, I, see, I know you anxious, brother. I know what's happening. No, nah, I ain't anxious, bro. I ain't never anxious, bro. <laughs> but you know, so, certain shit, bro. Like, cause this is ther therapeutic, bro. I didn't go to therapy this week, so this helped my mental health, bro. You feel me? Let, yeah, me, let me ask y'all, brothers, this. Somebody said a minute ago about the Willie Lynch letter, Willie Lynch mentality. When, when was that letter uh, supposed to be written? Shit, bro. 1555. Listen, listen yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. 1555. Yeah, that's, yeah. Was it 1555? 1555, okay. brother. Okay. Now, with that being said, right, how was it possible for us to have a Willie Lynch mentality when Greenwood and all the black black businesses and black districts was made around the country where they had to burn up shit, bomb, bomb up shit, and flood flood our towns if we was if we had a Willie Lynch mentality. I, I don't think we had a I don't I don't think we had a Willie Lynch mentality. What it is? Listen, listen, listen. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, hit me with that, bro. But I, I, I'm thankful that you you stepped up and nigga, you you went to bat for me because I couldn't, bro. I ain't got no me personally. I don't have a Willie Lynch mentality, bro. But if if that's how I struggle, bro, we all do suffer from post traumatic slave disorder PTSD. We all do suffer from that mentality, though. At one okay. point in time, right. you so, absolutely but, right. But so what bro, it is, bro, bro, go ahead. What, see, it is, what it is is after 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 the 1921 race ride 
you had some some people didn't get that. Just like when 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 Brother Kareem, when you talked about the school district, you said back in the day we wasn't even allowed to learn, read books, and do all this. But then after that, it was mandatory for us to go to school. Right. right. So, 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 no, hold on, hold on. So, so you had some that still was getting, getting their smarts, even though they wasn't supposed to. So you, see, so. This, 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 see, I got a different narrative. I, I'm a historian. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Because I believe if you don't know the past, then you're going to doom, you're doomed to repeat it. You right. feel me? Yeah. So. Man, hey, hey, brother Kareem. Uh, so, so, Lace the nigga uh, up, man. Lace me up. So, I don't I don't believe at all that half the stories we've been told about history is the right way. You see what right. I'm saying? Because we 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 built this whole damn country. They told us all we were slaves, bro. All we was ever taught. We were slaves, bro. Not only and, that, the country was already built before they even came, but that's, that's a whole right. nother uh, that's topic. Right. Right. But but right. my whole thing is, is as far as uh our education levels, our intelligence levels. Whether we can read or write, you know what I'm saying? All those, all those is lies, and those lies have been reinforced through their education system. Look, if we was that, if we was that illiterate, if we was that illiterate, right? If we was that illiterate and dysfunctional, then there's no way, you know, from 1790 to 1921, we would have had a hundred cities all over the country thriving and bustling better than our counterparts. Right. You see what I'm saying? We talking about real businesses, banks, hospitals, you dig what I'm saying? I'm talking about yeah. professionals. Yeah. yeah. But, but 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 back but see we went from being kind hearted. We was kind hearted with no, the no, other no. people. One. We, One. we was kind hearted. No, no, we was we didn't we go from being cool. nothing, bro. We was we no, the no, same this is what I'm nah, saying. Nah, see, 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 we, 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 it ain't never we been nothing. That's what I want y'all to embrace. Yeah, from yeah, that's what I'm saying. We didn't we, go we, from we, being nothing, bro. We was we the kings the and queens. People. We, we was, yeah, we still the same people, but we went from being kind hearted. We was kind hearted to them. To no, we, 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 we were kind hearted to each other, to hating each other and being kind hearted to them, bro. That's what I'm, but 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 that that was where the trickery came in because we was kind hearted to them and then they got over on us. They and tore then, down Black Wall Street, okay, bro. Okay, they turned okay, us okay. against each other let, over let, a, let a me, dude and a. You feel me? Yeah. They, let let me run this down. They say it's just get to turn us against each other, bro. Let me run this down real quick, right? This is real, uh, real, just a quick history thing, right? Oklahoma was Indian territory before it was a state, right? Yeah. I apologize, I apologize, brother. The year you wrote that letter was seventeen twelve. I don't know where I got fifteen fifty five from. I apologize. Right, right, right. We, we got to be exact. I figured it, it was something like that, but I, 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 yeah. I, I, I wasn't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I know at two thousand twelve was the four hundred year mark. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So seven, yeah, seven, I, you know, to me, that's just semantic. It was just semantic to me. I just wanted to know it wasn't before we. Made all these great towns. You see what I'm saying? That that was the point that I was trying to drive. Right, right. The conversation you know what I'm make each other feel like we anybody was wrong, right. bro. We right, just right, right. Exactly. Game, bro. Nigga, if I'm I just want to, I just want to show, I just want to show some history, though, right? Right. Yeah, Indian right. territory in Indian territory. Uh, uh, uh. American Indians, the Red Indians, us. We was already here. And, and, and what in the territories you call Oklahoma, right? Yeah. Right. But their story is we didn't get here until we got brought here. That's just that's just what I, I'm just showing you the contrast on this on how it was. This was this was a no man's land basically. So add on to what you're saying because you are saying you are speaking facts, but I just want to add on to the to the legal perspective of it. Right. 1684, a European by the name of Francis Benair traveled to, to uh, India and Egypt, and he came with the five concepts of race, white, red, yellow, and brown people. And so this guy's ideology from 1684 has, is still going on in 2024. So like you said, it was, it was Indian territory, but we were called the Red Man. 
Right. Exactly. Red man on me. Man. I love y'all niggas, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all gonna bring the best out of uh, out of me, bro. Right. We've been so I want to just... of our identity, our land, and our resources. But I just want to show you. I just want to show you right here in Oklahoma what 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 happened through through the trail of tears. The land rush. Right. The trail of tears. They 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 made it. The, you know they 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 brought the the uh, southeast Indians here. Okay. So you know Oklahoma had the most black towns in in America, right? They was you know. More black bro, town, bro. what they call them. too, bro. But do you see how the uh, label switched out throughout them them time frames? We went from Indians to red man to black. Yeah, man. but 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 I I, I just want to I just I, what I'm trying to show you is something though. I'm listening. Okay, right. I'm listening. It went from Indian territory. Okay, then they brought all the 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 the, the rest of our brothers and sisters from the southeast. They they brought the Mongoloids from the north. Okay, we all here. We 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 thriving already, right? We thriving already. We didn't we didn't set up shopping the whole nine fifty black towns, right? From, from, from Tulsa to Bowley and Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying? All these, yeah. Okay, so they struck oil. They struck they they struck oil here. Tulsa, Oklahoma was the oil capital of the world at the time. Boom, yeah. they struck oil. So, so they hurry up and made it a state. They had a land rush. They reclassified us, and they made this a state. And even with that being said, with with all the buzzards that came here because of the oil, we still had we still we still was cold enough to establish Black Wall Street, right? Right. So with what we did with Black Wall Street, because there's a lot of oil money down there. They don't, they don't no, notice they never mentioned that. They, don't they had a whole that. they had a whole commission set up from the oil that was being made in Tulsa. Okay. And they didn't feel like, you know, the brothers down here, the brothers and sisters down here were supposed to have none of that oil money like that. So they set up a little trust with this 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 bootleg system down here to try to kind of swindle our people up out of the oil money that they was making. They hoodwinked us, man. They yeah, meanwhile, us. yeah, meanwhile, the you know, we had our own banks. We had our own currency, right? right? We had our own banks. Now, mind you, this is before the, the Fed and the, the, the Treasury and all this other shit, okay? So, basically, in, the, in a nutshell, that whole somebody did something to a white woman on the elevator ass shit, was just a, just a way to get the wealth. That was a skit to turn down. The, the, that was a skit to turn to knock down the dynasty, bro. That was already it, you know what it, I mean? it, it, exactly. And not only that, because they went house to house, you know they were looking for something. Okay, exactly. you're talking about you're talking about deeds, titles. You dig what I'm saying? I'm talking about paperwork like that. So that's the reason why they burnt. Every single house. Listen, they, listen. They, they looted I, and burned this place. I, I want to add this to it, bro. Cause listen, bro. Look, I went to Booger T, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna add one more thing when you're done. I mean, listen. If y'all wanna, you can jump on Tubi and look at Legacy of Champions, man. I got an interview. It's on there. But the dude that interviewed me. See, I I went to Booger T. The dude who they alleged did that, bro, was a three-sport All-American, pretty much, bro. You feel me? He was an All-American wow. track star, football star, and played basketball. You know what I'm saying? He was finna go to Villanova. Black dude. Wow. You feel me? They wow. alleged that he... he listen, he, you know, you know, we've been getting hit with this type of shit our whole life, bro. A white woman like niggas. That type of skit. He got hit with that, bro. He got caught kissing her in the elevator, bro. He got caught. It was, it was and, a and they don't know that part. Though. Yeah, they had been messing around, yeah, but right. it wasn't accepted. But exactly. it was a so stage. No, up. I yeah. think it was staged. Listen, I think that she was already caught. 
but she couldn't get, she couldn't do the way that they, he got, it wasn't nothing they can do to the nigga. So no, no, no. They waited till they caught him in the situation with the woman to be able to be, you fit anywhere close to her. It was a situation like that's how that shit happened, bro. It wasn't, they, they already yeah, knew. See, 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 but me knowing history, it was, bull, that that's bullshit too. But, I, you right. know, because right. they use that same play and playbook and same excuse for 40 other damn cities. Come now on, explain man. that shit. They've been doing yeah. that since, since, yeah, bro. I'm talking about, look, since from, here, from, 19, look, from 1900 to goddamn 1923, Look at all look at look at all the destruction they caused. This, this is the whole reason why you had to have reconstruction. But right, before right. before I go there, what land does Tulsa sit on? Indian territory. Know? What Indian? Uh, uh uh um um I forgot, man. I forgot the tribe, bro. But this this is Cherokee. No, this ain't Cherokee, but this is like uh Creek or something, bro. Creek Nation. Bro. Black Black Wall Street set on Creek Creek grounds, man. Yeah, they wasn't supposed they, to do that. They, they wasn't supposed saying. to do that shit. Everything they did was illegal. Right. Okay. Right. Even to their own constitution, it was illegal. You so understand they, what I'm saying? They still, they still, they still doing illegal like shit against their constitution. To this day, they still doing illegal shit against no. their to their constitution. Yeah, yeah, see, but I'm just saying. Notice, <laughs> notice how this shit done been the Supreme Court, and you don't hear none of this being. You don't hear the oil being brought up. You don't hear the land being brought up, and you don't hear the 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 indigenous grounds that it happened on being brought up. Hey, I got. I, I got how is that? How is that possible? I, I how am I a common motherfucker? And I know this, but these lawyers that's that's looking out for uh, our, our elders, why they ain't bringing that shit up? Hey, hear me out. Bro, I just I just left the system, bro. Uh, now to see some a year, sixteen months, bro. But they changed us, like okay, they changed the laws to where certain things is 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 if you got an Indian card, if you creek, they can McGurk you. You feel me? So they kind of they 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 try to stack the deck on us, but it's really it really backfired and it's it's hurting all the white folks. When I went to the pen, bro, for every two niggas, it was. 10 white boys. So, you feel me? All right. I know so much about history, man. The, the, shit is, the shit is, I mean, just when you lay the shit out, you like, whoa. You know what I'm me, saying? You hold me out, bro. Listen. I'm, I got Cherokee blood, bro, in me, bro, but I'm a nigga, right? So, they strained me up in the county trying to they was bobbling between saying, that, okay, you going to go, the Indians is going to pick it up. And then they said, no, you don't have enough Indian in you, but you can get the Indian benefits. But nigga, you still, you feel me? Like, okay. So they straddled, they, they was, they stuck in between. They stuck in the hard spot. See these white folks, That's they didn't bargain. They didn't bargain see, and see, they, they didn't hung themselves. There's a saying, the man is mightier than the sword. Right, Look, right, right. If y'all ever get if y'all ever get a chance, okay, look up the Indian or the Native American population in between 1850 to 1950. And you're gonna find that the Native American uh population grew by 36,000 percent and that was due to the immigrants coming over here on Ellis Island, the Dos Rolls, the five dollar Indians. Look, you got to understand when I say Indian or or indigenous person. When I'm talking, talking about, about us, really been really well, been we're talking. Talk, I'm talking about us when I say indigenous. Right. Okay. Right. So when they said this was Creek land. This wasn't Creek because of the five dollar Indians. Right. This was this was Creek land because of you know who who the indigenous. Yeah, I mean you can look if you look up the if you look up the uh the, the definition of the Creek Indian, it will tell you that it was the name given to the the, the, the tribe that were found by the Europeans. But foremost, bro, like 
this information. But, uh, it was all, the, all, all this, all this is it, is is connected together. But you know, my, the moral to the story of what I was explaining is, it didn't matter where we was at. It was the mindset that the people had in the common goal that everybody had. You could have made Black Wall Street in in, in Old Mogi. You could have made it. You could have made it in any city. It wouldn't have mattered. It was the, it was the people that came together in their mindset. Black Wall Street ain't a location. It's a mindset that the people had that we don't have to this. We don't have that now. Because everybody is cutthroat, everybody is individuals, everybody don't really understand group economics. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And we don't have a common goal for the community at large. Everybody want to get ahead of the community <laughs> so they can turn around and shit on the community or floss on the community. Hey, listen, but how, how is we, in, how is we by ourselves are independent when we always voting, the ones they can vote be voting Democrat or Republican or instead of independent? I got a question, bro. I got a question for everybody. I got a question, bro. Excuse me, bro. Any listen, Kareem. Is Kareem home? Yep, yep. I'm still here. Where are you from, Ken Folk? Where was I born at? Yeah. I was born in Jacksonville, Florida, but I was raised in uh, San Diego, California. Okay, okay, okay. Where 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 um where your pops from? From uh Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay. So you know about your roots. You know everything where you come from. Yes, sir. You know your grandfather, what your grandfather did and what where they came from. Yes, sir. Okay. Akuno. Yeah. Same question, bro. Where you from? I'm from here. I'm from the town, but my, my mother's from Salisaw. My father's from Beggs. But my mother's side is originally from uh Alabama and my father's side is from the Mississippi. Okay, okay, okay. And also okay. Creek Cherokee and Choctaw putting both sides together. Right, right, right. Greenwood ain't no man. Where your people where you from, nigga? <laughs> Me. I was born in LA. I was raised here. <laughs> my real daddy side of my family from Mississippi and California. My mama side is from Venita, Oklahoma, in Mexico. Where your grandpa? Where your grandpa from? My grandpa from Venita, but his his mama they his mama daddy was from Mexico. My my okay. family last name Ramsey. They really la our real last name is was translated from Spanish to English. Is the Ramseys is my my people last name is Ramirez. Okay. Okay. That's right. Coat, what's this name? I'm there, I go by my middle name now. But um, anyway, um, I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, but I was raised here. And my daddy's family, they're from Brinkley, Arkansas. My mama's family is from McAllister in Pittsburgh, Oklahoma. And so we're mixed with Choctaw. Okay. Okay. Crown, what's happening, man? Where are you from? Where are you from? Can I'm, fall? I'm, I'm, I was born right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My my family on my mother's side is uh, my grandfather on my mother's side is from Sweetport, Louisiana, but my father is uh, actually from Havana, Cuba. Okay. 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 Well, listen, and me, my my name is Levi Harris. I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My mom's is from here. My pops is from Virginia. And his his mama, matter of fact, his 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 grandfather, I should say, they, they was real slaves. You feel me? So, right. Like I I, I kind of I didn't dissect it and I didn't kind of did my my um, family tree type shit. But it's that's important for us to know, man. We need to know where we came from. I, I you know I just we just got to. We need to acknowledge, you know what I'm saying? Because we all come from somewhere. You yeah. feel me? Speaking on what you right. said, my apologies, but just in April, I just went and visited my mother's uh, grave site. And uh, my brother always pointed out, we got family on tombstones I the seen. One of them was born in 1907, and one of them was born in 1913. And so the, I, that's why I also come like I do, because 
We are, most of us are descendants of the massacre. Most of us are right. descendants of, that, of, of what happened. You know, right. It's it's more of us than what they say. It's more of, like I say, those down there that's running that they they not speaking for us. Right. Bro, we have we listen, have to bro. I swear, we got to be our voice. I'm thankful to to have to really even be able to communicate with everybody like this, man. Listen, man. It, 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 it's a group of people that's trying to do something. You feel me? And it's love involved. So, you know, anytime it's love involved, man, good things going to happen. You know what I mean? So, I just want to thank all y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah, going to even lie, and, man. And, and, and that's true. I ain't going to even lie. Of, uh -huh. I, I just want to thank all y'all, man, because, you know, this has been therapeutic for me, man, and you know, I'm supportive of whatever y'all got going on, man. I just, I just want to be able to offer something, whether it's mental for health. Sure, for sure. That's my lane right there. Just, just being a mental health advisor. I'm finna go and see. I might need y'all support. I might end up going, going and finishing this little internship and getting my degree so I can be a therapist man, and be able to that's offer beautiful. that. You know what I mean? I just need y'all support. I learned a man. lot from you today, too, Brother Scotty. I learned a lot from you today. I learned a lot from all y'all This is partner, man. Uh, this is Levi, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but my bad. I apologize. It's, yeah. No, it's all I, love, I learned baby. a lot from just listening. Listening right, to y'all brothers, man. We got the dialogue. You know what I mean? So that's what the beautiful thing about the situation. And, or, and like you say, uh, well, in order to love, we must spread that peace first. Come on, man. So, we got to do that, bro. Yeah. Like, and, and you know, like we so used to bumping heads, disagreeing, and then we can't accept no correction, bro. So I just love, the, I just love how y'all correct me, bro, and y'all allow me to be able to. You feel me, bro? I can be open. I'm open for correction, bro. I love correction. Just not the white man. Not the wrong with correction. That's you right. Without correction, we do this every Friday, and all you gotta do if you got Facebook, just add any one of us. You know what I'm saying? And I can, can add you to the group. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. One, add me to the group, man, because I'm. You was telling me about it last week, bro, but I, I need it, bro, because it's therapeutic for me, man. You know what I'm saying? And I need the correction from y'all, man. I need some help. You feel me? We, we can help each other, man. So, so I ain't just got, just got his phone and answer yours. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> no, 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 we, all, we all agree that we indigenous to the land, right? <laughs> yeah, we all agree man. that we indigenous to the land, right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay, so that's right there, Akunu. There you go. That's the common in your unity right there, brother. <laughs> and with that being said, you know what I mean? We're gonna end it right here, you know what I mean? Okay, there you go, right there. My bad, my bad, my bad. Nah, it's, yeah. all it's all love, but yeah, we're gonna uh, end it right here because we've been two hours in and I got these girls, and tomorrow my daughter's birthday, she's gonna be nine, so I got happy my birthday. Right. Happy birthday, happy born day, happy born day, queen. Yeah, I just want y'all to know, too, man. I love y'all, man. It was a pleasure. I know, Ladies, I know I can be overwhelming, man. But, Ladies. you know, just look forward to hearing from me, man. I'm going to be involved, man. I'm going to be a part of this change, man. We're going we to do it together. I need y'all, man. Everything for a reason. So, like I said, yeah, every Friday at this time, we, we, we jump on around 5 o'clock every Friday. So, again, you know, that's where we at. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. I enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed the knowledge. You know, you guys are great. Thank you. Hope, hopefully, you come Thank back you. with some more questions. You're the real superstar, Chris. Yeah, hopefully, you come back with some more of them questions to get us going like this again. I sure will, definitely. Hey, sis, sis, I ain't gonna lie to you. Stephanie, sometimes you might have to say, nigga, shut up. Nigga, let me talk. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't do that. It's all love. It's all love. <laughs> hey, this community convo. Cool. Leave them fellas on the sideline. You gonna if we talking too much? Tell us to be quiet. Yeah, that, them is the type of that's the type of relationship I want to have. Yeah, it's a family. That, yeah, this is like a family. You feel me? Like, right. hey, nigga, hold up, bro. You feel me? Like, yeah, and I and I sit back and shit because just don't I'm work too hard like on us. You know what I'm saying? Don't go too hard on us, but yeah, it's not too hard. But <laughs> press your line, sis. You feel yeah. me? A little yeah. light work, little light work. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Just all, just because listen, sometimes you gotta show us you love us, you know what I mean, through being hard on us. So right. That's all we need. With that being said, we're gonna catch y'all mm -hmm. on the next one.
Yeah, man, I love y'all niggas, man. You feel me? Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Peace and love. Salam. Come on, man. You already know, man. God is good. Y'all have a blessed one. You too, bro. Yeah. For sure.